Ever since the start of the Baruto 2 Blue Vortex time skip, the deuteragonist Kawaki has been on a losing streak. This is particularly concerning since the main protagonist, Baruto, seems far more powerful in comparison. Back in the climax of the pre time skip Baruto Naruto Next Generations, Kawaki appeared nearly unstoppable after unlocking the karmic power passed down to him by Ishiki Otsutsuki, which greatly enhanced his combat abilities, even against formidable foes like Borishiki and Code. After sealing Naruto away, Kawaki resolved to eliminate every Otsutsuki, including his brother Baruto, who is being possessed by one. Taking down an Otsutsuki is no ordinary feat, as they are incredibly powerful beings. Given this, we expected Kawaki to receive a significant power boost during the time skip. However, this expectation wasn't met, as Kawaki has been consistently defeated by his enemies. He struggled to hold his own against a claw grime in battle, even with his karmic powers, and in a showdown with Baruto, he ended up on the ground once again. The big question is, was Kawaki really training during the three-year time skip? In the latest chapter of Baruto, Two Blue Vortex, we learn that Kashin Koji has the ability to see all possible futures. Since he's working with Baruto, he was able to observe every jutsu and technique Baruto would learn in the future and pass them on to the current Baruto. This made Baruto as strong and unstoppable as he is now. Baruto was even strong enough to take down a no-limiter code, who was stated to be stronger than Jigen, with little to no effort. Given this, do you think Kawaki will be able to catch up to Baruto's strength and rival him once again? In this video, we'll discuss the potential power-up Kawaki might obtain, which could eventually transform him into the godlike figure we glimpsed in the very first episode. We all know that Shibai transcended his physical form, leaving his body behind. As a result, he left behind a set of incredibly powerful Otsutsuki abilities. Somehow, Amato managed to recover these abilities and even went a step further. He created cyborgs to house these powers. Unlike typical abilities that are simply activated, these Otsutsuki abilities are awakened, meaning they manifest at different times for each cyborg. For example, when we first met Boro, he already had high regenerative abilities. Code had the claw mark ability from the start. But for someone like Kashin Koji, his abilities didn't awaken until the very moment before he was about to die in his battle against Ishiki. Similarly, Baruto's abilities didn't fully activate until he was around 12 years old. Here's my theory. Even with the powers Kawaki has inherited from Ishiki, his true Shibai ability has yet to awaken. This could be why Amato is so protective of Kawaki, because he knows that when this ability finally awakens, it will be a game changer. This would also explain the significant power gap between Kawaki and everyone else, aside from the differences in their training. Once this ability awakens, it could elevate Kawaki to be on par with the top tier characters, or even surpass them. In the most recent chapter of Baruto 2 Blue Vortex, we discovered that Amato actually implanted Shibai's DNA into every single member of Kara. He confirmed that each Kara member who received enhanced modifications from him had transplants of Shibai's cells without exception. However, when discussing the Kara members that were essentially created by Amato, he noticeably failed to mention anything about Kawaki, despite Kawaki being a Kara member. Now, some might argue that Shibai's DNA wasn't implanted into Kawaki because he was originally meant to be Ishiki's vessel, and such an implantation could have interfered with that process. But if you remember correctly, after Amato defected to Konoha, he also performed modifications on Kawaki to give him the karma powers after Ishiki had left him. At that point, Kawaki wasn't directly under Amato's influence, and Amato wasn't closely connected to Kawaki. I have a theory that Amato did, in fact, implant Shibai's cells into Kawaki, but Kawaki simply hasn't awakened his Shinjutsu yet. The reason for this might be that Kawaki has hasn't experienced the specific moment or trigger that would lead to this awakening, similar to how Kashin Koji only awakened his abilities when he was on the verge of death. I'm not saying that Kawaki will awaken his Shinjutsu in the exact same way, but I do believe he has Shibai's DNA. It's just a matter of time before he awakens it. Kawaki might not be the strongest in this timeline, but one thing he certainly isn't is dumb. He quickly catches on to the toad that belongs to Kashin Koji. This is alarming because Kawaki was already suspicious about where Baruto was getting his intel. When Himawari tries to heal Baruto, Baruto. Kawaki stops her. I believe this is because he thinks he can extract answers from Baruto, or better yet, force Momoshiki to emerge from within him. Kawaki has been wary of Baruto's sources of information ever since he returned to the Leaf Village and stood next to Code. He's been trying to figure out how Baruto knows exactly when and where the enemy will strike. A lot of people are underestimating Kawaki right now. He might not be as strong as Baruto, some of the others. Kawaki definitely has the intelligence to gather and use this information to his advantage, and these subtle observations could be the reason Kawaki ends up in a crucial position in the unfolding events. Or perhaps Kawaki could receive a power boost through a method similar to what Baruto used to become stronger. By having Kashin Koji pass on to him every jutsu and technique that Kawaki has mastered in possible futures, Kawaki could significantly enhance his abilities. This might even include mastering a new Shinjutsu, giving him the edge he needs to rival Baruto or other top-tier characters. That wraps up our thoughts on how Kawaki could potentially level up, possibly through a similar method to Baruto by mastering jutsu and techniques from future 
future timelines, maybe even unlocking a new Shinjutsu. What do you think? Could this be the key to Kawaki matching Boruto's strength? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more anime theories and discussions, and ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our future content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Stay tuned.